Hey, what's up, health warriors? Today we're diving deep into the world of sugar addiction. Yes, that sweet, sneaky little devil that's got a grip on so many of us. Whether it's the irresistible allure of chocolate, the tangy temptation of candy, or those fizzy sodas that seem harmless but are actually sugar bombs in disguise, we're surrounded, and let's be honest, these sugar-packed delights are everywhere, making it all too easy to indulge. Ever find yourself craving more and more sugar, only to wonder why? Well, stick around because we're about to unravel the mystery behind those cravings and why sugar feels so darn good. But wait, there's more. We're not just here to talk doom and gloom. We've got a secret weapon up our sleeves. By the end of this video, we'll reveal seven life-changing steps to break free from sugar's sweet clutches. And because we love ending things on a sweet note, without the sugar crash, we'll introduce you to some deliciously healthy alternative sweeteners. So, if you're ready to kick sugar to the curb with a smile on your face, you're in the right place. Let's get this sugar-free party started. All right, let's break it down to square one. What in the world is sugar? Imagine this, sugar starts its life in the fields hanging out in plants like sugar cane and sugar beets. Through a magical, or let's be real scientific process, it's transformed into the sparkly white stuff we all know and secretly love to binge on. But here's a fun fact to chew on. This whole transformation process, it's pretty much the same deal for flour. Yes, that's right, flour comes from grains that get ground and refined until they're as white and powdery as a winter wonderland. Now, why am I lumping sugar and flour together in the same basket? Because believe it or not, when it comes to crashing the party in your bloodstream, spiking your insulin levels, and throwing a rave in your brain, they're basically twins. So for the sake of our little chat today, let's just call them both sugar. It's like discovering that the quiet kid at the party is actually a DJ by night, unexpected but totally makes sense when you think about it. Why does sugar have us wrapped around its little crystalline fingers? Well, it's all thanks to a little thing called dopamine, the brain's own brand of happy confetti. When you dive into a sugary treat, your brain throws a dopamine party, which feels pretty fantastic. But here's the kicker. Sugar doesn't just tickle your dopamine receptors, it throws them a full-blown festival. This is the same dopamine that's at the heart of addictions, making sugar not just a sweet indulgence, but a full-on addictive substance. Studies have even shown that sugar can sidestep into the role of addictive drugs like cocaine, sometimes outshining them in the allure department. It turns out the brain chemistry of a sugar fiend isn't too different from someone hooked on drugs. Yep, your brain on sugar looks a lot like your brain on, well, not sugar. So now that we know sugar is practically throwing rave parties in our brains, what do we do about it? Don't fret, I've got a seven step process coming up that's like the ultimate guide to crashing sugar's party, stay tuned. Step one in our breaking up with sugar saga is about having a light bulb moment. You see, many of us think we're outsmarting sugar by ditching the obvious baddies like sodas and candy bars, only to fall into the sneaky embrace of breads and pastas. It's like trying to avoid drama by not inviting your ex to the party, but then you end up inviting their twin. Surprise, surprise, those breads and pastas are pretty much sugar in a fancy carb disguise, tricking your brain into thinking it's won the lottery with every bite. Your brain, that clever little organ, gets a rush of dopamine, its favorite feel-good confetti, from these foods just like it does from sugar. So while you might think you're doing yourself a favor, your brain is still on that sugar high, complete with all the not-so-sweet side effects. Breaking sugar addiction isn't just about cutting out the candy, it's about understanding the masquerade party happening in your brain. Once you get how your brain chases after these sugar highs, you're one step closer to putting an end to the sugar saga. It's time to pull back the curtain and see sugar and its carb cousins for what they really are, party animals that need to be shown the door. Step two in our journey to break free from sugar's sweet embrace is all about understanding that addiction isn't a one-size-fits-all deal. Just like not everyone who enjoys a glass of wine with dinner ends up as a headline in a cautionary tale, not everyone who indulges in a slice of cake becomes a sugar junkie. We're all unique, with brains that react to sugar in our own special ways. It's crucial to gauge where you stand on the sugar addiction spectrum. If the mere thought of parting ways with sugar paints your world in shades of gloom, then yep, you might be closer to the can't live without it end. This realization is akin to how addicts feel about their vices. A world without their substance of choice seems bleak and unimaginable. Most of us are probably on the I like sugar a bit too much side rather than being full-blown sugar addicts. It's a small club that has a brain wired for hardcore addiction. But fear not, 
Whether you're just a casual sugar swiper or someone who dreams in candy-colored hues, the upcoming steps are designed to guide the majority towards a less sugary sunrise without making life taste bland. Step 3 on our sugar quitting journey, Detox City. It's time to take a vacation from sugar and its wild dopamine parties. Think of it as a cleanse but for your sugar habits. Yes, the detox phase is the equivalent of waking up on Monday morning after a weekend binge headaches, mood swings, and feeling like a human version of a sad trombone sound. This not-so-fun fare can last anywhere from a quick three-day getaway to a 21-day epic journey. But here's the kicker. Once you emerge from the detox dungeon, you'll find yourself in a brighter, happier, and much healthier world. Imagine feeling like you've got a new lease on life, where you're no longer a puppet to Sugar's siren song. So, buckle up, buttercup, because the road to recovery might be bumpy. But oh, is the destination worth it? Step 4 in our Sayonara Sugar Saga? Time to don your black belt in nutrition label Kung Fu. Sugar is the ultimate ninja, sneaking into places you'd least expect, like your innocent looking yogurt, that healthy pasta sauce, or even those muscular protein bars. It's everywhere, plotting its sweet little ambushes. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, involves mastering the art of deciphering nutrition labels. This isn't just skimming. It's about peering through the disguise of low-fat and healthy claims to spot the hidden sugars lurking in the list of ingredients. Become the Sherlock Holmes of the supermarket aisles, and soon you'll be dodging sugar like a pro. It's time to unveil sugar's sneaky hiding spots and kick it to the curb for good. Step 5 in our epic adventure to kick sugar to the curb? Let's talk about keeping your blood sugar as balanced as a yoga instructor on a good day. During your sugar detox, it's all about crafting meals that are like a well-tuned orchestra, every element in perfect harmony. This means getting cozy with proteins, falling in love with fibers, and making healthy fats your new BFF. Think of it like assembling the Avengers on your plate, whole egg omelets teaming up with a powerhouse of veggies, chicken salads slinging olive oil dressing like it's their superpower, and grass-fed beef stew saving the day with its nutrient-rich goodness. By ensuring each meal has a good mix of protein, fiber, and healthy fats, you're not just eating, you're strategizing against sugar crashes and cravings. Welcome to being a dietary superhero where every meal is a step towards victory. Step six in our breaking up with sugar journey takes us down an unexpected path, healing your gut. Picture this, a Swiss study split guys into two camps, the chocolate cravers and the chocolate mayors. Turns out, the chocoholics had a different gut bacteria party going on than their counterparts. What's the takeaway? Your gut health is like the social network of your body, and it's time to curate your friend list carefully. Here's the game plan. Keep rocking those balanced meals we talked about, steer clear of sugar and processed foods like they're the last people you want at your dinner party, and invite some healthy probiotics to the table. Think of probiotics as the cool guests that everyone wants to hang out with. They help keep your gut microbiome in check, and your cravings in line. So if you want to keep those chocolate cravings from sending friend requests to your gut bacteria, it's time to become a gut health guru. Remember, a happy gut is a happy life. And finally, lucky number seven, let's talk about the alternative sugar scene. You might be thinking, what about honey and agave nectar? They're natural, right? Well, here's the scoop. Even though they wear the healthier badge, they're still sugar VIPs in your brain's club. The more you indulge, the more your brain sends out invites for more sugar cravings. While they do pack some health perks, if sugar addiction is your battle, these guys need a time out. Now fruits are a different story. Eating whole fruits like apples, berries, and oranges won't send your cravings into overdrive. Why? Because they come with their own entourage of fibers, vitamins, and minerals, making them the good kind of guests that help tidy up after the party. Looking for sugar alternatives that won't crash the party? Let me introduce you to the dynamic duo, Stevia, including Stevia leaf extract or Reb-M, and monk fruit. Reb-M, a superstar from the Stevia leaf, tastes a lot like sugar, but doesn't bring any calories to the table. Monk fruit sweetener is like the sweetener from the future. Super sweet, calorie free, and might even throw in some antioxidant benefits. So if you're trying to sweeten up your life without inviting sugar back, these two might just be your new best friends. Ah, the plot thickens with the tale of artificial sweeteners like aspartame and sucralose. You've probably heard the horror stories, cravings through the roof and whispers of health risks. But let's clear the air with a dash of science. Recent top-tier research, we're talking randomized, double-blind studies 
the creme de la creme of evidence, has been flipping the script on these sugar substitutes. Turns out, these artificial amigos might not be the villains they were once thought to be. Instead of summoning sugar cravings or acting like dietary gremlins, they're actually helping folks feel less peckish, munch on fewer calories, and not trigger a sugar-seeking missile system in your brain. Who would have thought, right? Now, could we dive deep into this topic and make an entire video? Absolutely, and maybe we will. But for now, the takeaway is that artificial sweeteners, in moderation, seem to be on the not evil side of the spectrum. However, let's not get carried away. Moderation means not turning your morning tea into a sweetener soup. Remember, with these powerful potions, a little goes a long way. So if you're navigating the treacherous waters of sugar addiction, consider these sweeteners as potential allies. But only bring out a pinch, not the whole cavalry. All right, team, are you pumped to kick sugar to the curb and start shedding those extra pounds? These golden nuggets of advice are your roadmap to a healthier you, guiding you to eat right, dodge the sugar beast, and feel amazing. And hey, there's more juicy stuff on the horizon. I'm itching to dive into the sugar brain saga and reveal how crystal clear your thinking can become once you cut the sugar fog. Curious about something or got a topic you're dying to hear about? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. We're all ears. And if you enjoyed this sweet, pun intended journey towards health, smash that like button and subscribe for more wellness wisdom. Remember, staying happy and healthy isn't just about the exterior, it's about lighting up from the inside too. So keep flexing, keep shining, and let's glow together.